am back today with one of the most requested light and laser combo videos that I've ever had on the channel. This is the Votatu 840 and it features a green laser, an IR laser, and a white light all in one module with a pressure switch and incredible specs and features all for a great price of right at under a hundred dollars. I've been actually testing two of these platforms independently for over two months now to really get a lot of rounds behind them in almost every lighting situation possible to give you guys the best review. And this is not a joke. It's not a toy. It is a great IR green laser and lighting aiming module for your AR or similar platform. Now the Votatu 840 series light comes in generally at right around $94 or $95 with free Amazon Prime shipping, making it incredibly attractive. Now they've always sold out quickly and I've waited for the review for a number of reasons, but one, there's finally ample stock. I've actually reached out to the company. And they did send both of these out to the channel for me to test and try. And they've sent other lights and lasers in the past. And they've always worked out incredibly well. And on top of that, they sent a discount code specifically for my viewers to save you a little bit of money. But honestly, I would grab it without that discount. The price alone of this module is just a fourth and fifth of the price of some of the next tier up. And then when you're talking about a PEC 15 at $1,500, that is 15 times more than what this module costs and is it going to be worth it well i think it's worth it in a ton of different applications short of just a couple which is truly using these in a combat scenario other than that these are going to be good to go in almost every application i've tried them in one of the first things I want to mention is what you get in the box. You get the module itself and you also get a pressure switch with two different mounting options. The mounting options are for the pick rail as you see here on the 22 and the M-lock attachment that you can use to um, mount that to different style M-lock rails. So it's incredibly versatile with all of the mounting hardware. You also get the charging cable inside the box itself because these are magnetic rechargeable at the top. They mount up rock solid, as you can see on this PSA 300 Blackout Jackal, and they can be mounted to the side uh, utilizing M-Lock hardware, or you can actually mount them up with the pick rail mount in the box on the top of the rail system. But you actually remove that pick rail mount and attach it via M-Lock, so it's uh, incredibly slim, and it's also incredibly versatile in a wide variety of situations. Now... Before we get too far into the rest of the review, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring the 300 Blackout Subsonic Ammo for this video. I actually ran these a lot off camera. I would continue to bring them down to the range, take shots with them to confirm that they were holding zero, and the entire time they did, and a lot of that ammo was Callaway Ballistics. I also have the code with these guys, 704 Tactical, for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200, and they also have Subsonic 9, which is some of the cleanest and a most reliable subsonic nine I've fired on the channel, as well as their subsonic 762 by 39. So definitely give them a try. But let's get into the exact specs and features of this laser light combo and how it worked down at the range. Now that we know, I mean, now that we've actually went over a lot of what comes in the box. So again, it is magnetic recharging. It mounts up pick rail or M lock, and it does have a pressure switch on the uh, included in the box that you can use that you can plug in right here on this port or you can manually operate it right here. You can also toggle through the modes. So we have off mode, which is kind of like a lock position. We have the light. Then we can toggle it over one more for the light and laser. Then we can toggle it to just the laser itself. And then here's where it really gets good the IR laser. This is invisible to the human eye, but because it's invisible to the human eye, it is great for different shooting applications with night vision. So if you have a digital night vision, if you have a standard Gen 3 or Gen 2 tubes, those are going to work great with this IR emitter. And this is great for different night vision hunting applications, it's just night vision shooting in general. In the intro of the video, I'm actually using the Psyonix digital night vision, which is their more mil spec or uh you know mil standard version of the digital night vision and if you want full reviews of some high value and budget night vision everywhere from i don't know two three hundred dollars all the way up to about fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars for some of the night vision i've been shooting on the channel definitely subscribe and go through the backlog now the ir and green laser are slaved together meaning when you're sighting in the green laser 
Um, you can actually not worry about sighting in the IR laser, which is incredibly convenient when you're sighting this in. And what I like to do is co-witness at a certain distance, the green laser with the red dot, and that's what I've done on these. So I found a good personal defense distance for kind of shooting applications with these lasers right at about uh, seven yards. So I co-witnessed everything at seven yards, and then I confirmed zero after that. Now, one of these was actually uh, sighted in a little bit further out, right at about 25 yards, and that was going to be the 300 blackout. But for the 22, I did everything co-witnessed at seven yards. Now, the cool thing is um, once I've co-witnessed them with the green lasers and the red dot you don't even actually have to shoot to get them sighted in as long as your optics are sighted in from there we ran these for a couple of months again in a wide variety of scenarios then i retested at both of the yardages to make sure they were still holding zero and they both did now this is a 22 but the 300 blackout had a lot of supersonic and subsonic rounds with nothing shifting zero which is just absolutely great it worked incredibly well with no issues with anything walking loose uh falling off the pressure switch acting up i mean it was just a solid option over those few months uh, the next thing I want to mention is the light is incredibly bright and at 125 yards, it lights up an entire field. You can easily make out your target and it, the light laser combo is pretty cool as well with the visible green laser. So if you were shooting for personal defense and you weren't wearing your night vision, this is just great to grab, pop up, and you can actually have that with the light and the laser mode and then just utilize that switch in the back. So you can click it on for permanent on or you can do temporary on and off as you're clearing corners corners and then you can also run uh, this switch the same right up here so you can run that pressure switch and no matter where you're pressing on the pressure switch it works out incredibly well so constant on or temporary on and then again you can uh, toggle through those modes right there making this just incredibly versatile also the green laser itself um, on these modules is very bright you're going to get a very bright laser so you're going to be able to use that in some daytime applications which is pretty cool the other cool thing about this is it's ipx6 waterproof rated so you don't have to worry about taking it to the range you can take it to the range in the rain drop it in a puddle and you're going to be good to go and you can get all the exact detailed specs and features of the weight and the uh, size of everything as well as the laser output on the Amazon link in the description below. And all of that info will be in the description below. And just a huge shout out to Votatu for sending two of these to the channel. I'm actually gonna be requesting more because this is gonna be a staple of the channel for night vision testing applications. I've been testing a lot of different options on both of these setups and these night vision IR devices have been on both of them and they've been working out great. They're incredibly visible in every single lighting condition with that IR and green laser, um, short of bright daytime use of the green laser. It just, these work out great in almost every aspect. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gives you another option, kind of for that PEC 15 at home that's not going to break the bank. The only other thing I was recommending in this category was the Hollow Sun, and they come in at four to five hundred dollars. So this is just again a game changer in this high value and budget kind of night vision and light and laser world. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.